Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Brianne Live. So today, I'm gonna be showing you all how I achieved this 360 Senegalese twist crochet hairstyle. I was sent this hair from a vendor off AliExpress called Leave-In Hair, and they sent me seven packs. This is what the pack looked like, and it has 22 twists in each pack. So, and it comes with this little gold band. They also sent me some of these little bejeweled beads that goes on the twist. They were silver, and um, um, yeah, so this is the braid pattern that I did guys and I did this braid pattern because this is how you achieve the 360 look You don't have any um, fullness around the hairline and it all looks like it's only one twist around the hairline So that is how you get the 360 look so these twists were very tight as you see I had to kind of unravel the twist to get the hair inside of it but once the hair is inside guys it goes tightly against the scalp against the braid and it really secures greatly so right here I'm showing you how I'm going on top of the braid with the twist and this is kind of the wrong way to do it guys because if you want it to lay flat on top of the braid you want to take the crochet, ne crochet needle on top of the braid and then you want to put the twist under the braid so this is showing you the wrong way to do it as you guys can see it's not laying flat like the other one but on this one I'm going to show you guys how I went on top of the braid with the crochet needle and under the braid with the twist and I pop it in and it's going to secure tightly to the braid and be very very flat and flesh to the scalp and I'm just going to show you guys one more time how I did it. And as you see, the bottom of my needle came off, guys, but that's okay. So, um, yeah, guys, I'm just doing this one more time to show you how flat it gets to the scalp. Like that. So I'm going to redo this one and take it out. And I'm going to show you guys how um, flat it is to the scalp once you do it the correct way. Again, like I said, going in with the needle on top of the braid and the twist on the bottom of the braid, securing it and pulling it through so that it can be flesh on the braid. Just like that. So as you guys can see, it's giving you this illusion that, again, it's one twist around the perimeter and that just gives you the ability to pull it up in a ponytail and look very very natural and it doesn't even look like crochet so right here guys I'm just showing you over and over again how I did these twists like I said these twists are great quality guys they are very sturdy they don't feel like they're coming off I love that they thin out at the ends and they're not going anywhere they're not gonna unravel um, they're very lightweight very movable very flexible um, they did have a slight smell to them guys but that's nothing that a couple washes won't fix and like I told my mom we can take these out and she can use them over and over again and um, yeah guys the model today is my mom FYI um, we were up late at night doing this hairstyle for her we don't have any makeup on we have on our night clothes so guys please be mindful that we don't look the best in this video but I did want to get this tutorial out for you guys and hopefully it'll help so I'm just showing you guys the back of um, her hair and I'm doing it the same way with the needle on the top and the um, twist on the bottom and just pulling it through so it can be flesh and flat to her braid so guys, I'm using my Vante Effects Edge Effect Edge Control, and I love this stuff, guys. I use it for my feet and braids. I use it for edges. It just has an amazing, super, super hold, and um, it isn't like all, you know, shiny and wet looking. It, it definitely goes on with a dry finish, and if you set your edges, guys, tie them down, this stuff will last you all day. And this stuff is amazing, guys. So I'll definitely leave the information down in the information tab, in the information box, should I say. And I'm using my um, my edge brush to go ahead and lay her edges down. And my mom's edges are very, very soft. And um, it's kind of hard to get them down. And as you guys can see, this stuff is going on with ease and it's just laying all of her baby hairs or edges should I say down really really smoothly guys 
So this style took me about an hour all together. And as you guys can see, like I said, it just gives you this individual finish around the edges and you get full coverage all throughout the hair, guys. And I did make spaces between the twist and the back so it wouldn't be too, too full. So guys, you see my mom is getting her model on. Um, she is not experienced in this YouTube world so y'all give her a break but she's looking beautiful with her twist and she was definitely happy with the outcome. So thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!